Who says we at DIY3DTech.com aren't on the level? What am I talking about? Well, I designed this to solve a sticky problem I had, and it might solve a problem you have too. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together, and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this design with you guys, but first a little bit of a backstory so you can kind of understand the application. So if, if you've been following along the channel, about a year ago I purchased five acres, built a house on the first acre. The back four acres over the spring we just cleared. It was uh, former farmland that was left sit for about 50 years. So really overgrown, just a total mess. Got it cleaned up. But now I have a drainage issue, which is pretty common when farmland is divided up for residential use out here. So with that, I decided, what the heck, I'm going to go buy a tractor. Now the wife was not too happy about the tractor purchase, so it left me no spousal credits to buy a laser. What do I need a laser for? Well, for that tractor, I need to be able to shoot a grade for the ditches I need to cut to drain the water off that four acres. So what did I do? I turned to Fusion 360 and I designed these. Now, again, a little bit of backstory about what it's connected to, this Ultron uh, laser level. I purchased this many, many moons ago, back when laser levels first came out. It's really intended for, you know, home use, indoor, etc. I've used it to uh, set up cabinets and kitchen remodels, things like that. And it's worked great over the years. I haven't used it much in the past four or five years. Uh, so it's been in the basement. So I thought, hmm, this might be an interesting starting spot. So it's a three milliwatt laser. So it's basically a glorified laser pointer. But three milliwatts at the time was actually quite a bit. It's got a beam splitter in here to make crosshairs and other cool things. However, the distance on this simply isn't practical, especially outside, to shoot a beam 300 feet. My solution? is on a whim several years ago, I purchased this one watt green handheld laser. Now again, a little bit of a PSA here. This thing is dangerous. It's about a watt. Uh, it will easily make 300 plus feet uh, and it can also blind you. So while I'm using this, I will be using laser safety glasses. I'm out in farm country, so the risk to others is, is nil. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, if you do something like this, make sure you understand the laser you're using and you follow its safety guidelines. With that PSA out of the way, what I did is I designed these up and I designed them up in a way to receive this laser pointer, which is basically a standard size laser pointer of this magnitude. Now, I also put a little notch in the top. Now, what I should explain is these are the same thing. I came up with one model and I'm reusing it twice. So I printed two of these out because the opening for the button is immaterial. So this quarter 20 nylon nut cinches down on the back. This quarter 20 nut cinches down, really nut bolt, uh, cinches down, closes the button and holds the laser in place. These two down here at the bottom hold upward tension on this level. This whole mechanism sits inside this leveling mechanism, very detailed little leveling mechanism, which sits on its tripod. Now, this will easily give me 300 feet. Now, I know you surveyors, you dirt guys out there, you're rolling your eyes, you think I'm crazy. Well, maybe I am, uh, but that's a little bit beside the point. Now, what I've done to check this, again, kind of calibrate it, is I've measured the delta between the red laser indoors and the green laser, say at, you know, like 50 feet. And it's actually pretty tight. So again, I've gone out like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet and looked at the distance and it's really negligible. The other piece in shooting these ditches, I just need to make sure they go downhill. So water doesn't flow uphill, so I don't want to cut these ditches uphill. I need to make sure they're cut downhill. So again, this has provided me with a practical solution to solve a rather sticky problem using no spousal credits. So it gives me more spousal credits for the tractor, I guess. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys. I'll have these out on Thingiverse. Now, this is Eltron, uh, I think it's 
Elton, whatever level. There's a lot of knockoff versions of these floating around out there, and I think uh, some of these are still out there. I don't know if this particular brand and configuration are. If they if if they do still exist, I'll put some links below for you guys. But you may have one of these laying around your basement, and this is a good way to repurpose it. Other potential options to this are putting some sort of sighting scope or such, mounting it on here too to act as a pseudo transit, if you will, or something like that. Uh, because I will be using, um, you know, like an eight foot uh, piece of PVC with uh, ruler tape on it as sort of my witness pole, if you will, for this to measure my drop as I go out. So again, real simple solution that is solving a rather sticky problem I have. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you have further suggestions, hit me up in the comments below. I'm always interested to learn from you guys. I get some great stuff from you, the viewer, and I'm always looking for more. So with that, Swag Shop's up there. Um, Oh, subscribe's over there. Thumbs up, it's down here. And we'll catch you guys in the next video where we do something else cool. Remember, be safe with the laser. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.